I want to begin with a warning. <laughs> Due to my work overload, <clears throat> John, <laughs> I wrote this routine a little last minute, so I ask that you please hold your booze until the end of the show. <laughs> so, all right, let's start with a little bit of self-deprecation. Let's jump into my love life. It's been very unpredictable. <laughs> Recently, I decided to take a break and, you know, put it in God's hands. You know, that's another way of me saying I really know how to pick them. <laughs> <laughs> but I do trust that God will send me the right man. I mean, the right man will come knocking on my door. But see, I have a problem. Anytime somebody actually does knock on my door, I get annoyed. And it's such an inconvenience to me that I tend to come off a little bit rude. I'll say things like, I'm not expecting visitors, or what the hell do you want? Or hey, they come back with a warrant. So, <laughs> chances are I slammed the door on my soulmate's face, or got arrested by him. <laughs> it only happened twice, so clearly we weren't compatible. <laughs> so yes, love has been very unpredictable. Um, you know what isn't unpredictable though is, is aging. Although I'm 34, I can now understand why some of you old people get crotchety. <laughs> I get so outraged by petty, stupid little things like, like remakes of movies and songs. Like, come on, like what was wrong with the original? And you know, old trends coming back. Like, what really pissed me off recently is that last Vogue, our last summer, Vogue announced that the super low rise jeans are coming back. You guys remember those? <laughs> First off, does this right here look like Britney Spears? <laughs> no, 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 no. Then it's a no. Um, rocking low rise jeans <clears throat> is a great idea as long as it stays back in 2004. Back when I was a young, <laughs> tight, tender little thing. <laughs> You know, I did a lot of damage while wearing low-rise jeans. I raised so much hell. Don't get me wrong, I was fine with low-rise jeans before my body got wrecked. <laughs> Can you guys remember in your 20s having drinks, dancing the night away, and then kind of mellowing out at the end of the night? That meant that you either got too drunk or it was time to do another line. <laughs> a conga line! A conga line! Where is your mind? <laughs> Now it's no longer that way. Uh, now I love wearing those high waist mom jeans. <laughs> and what I love about those jeans is that they hide all of my regrets that I did while I was in my 20s. <laughs> and the fact that an eight pound, two ounce baby destroyed my frame. <laughs> those two ounces really do count by the way. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I just gotta say, have you ever seen a bowl of oatmeal in human form? Yeah, that's what the mom. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. You guys should be laughing. <laughs> Even if you're just in your 30s, I mean, I 
as I learn new things about my body as I get older, I kind of miss my younger body's functions, you know? Yep. Funny story. When I was in high school, the boys always joke that girls don't poop. You've heard that, right? That's true, right? I've never heard that. Oh, I heard that. That made sense because at age 15, girls are magical. They're pretty, they smell nice, and they're so perfect that they could never do something as disgusting as <laughs> I thought the idea was silly until I realized it's true after you turn 30. <laughs> At this age, we eat all the fiber in front of us. We hydrate like crazy and you better not forget your, your probiotics. Are you guys taking your probiotics? You better be taking your probiotics. <laughs> then we go through all that effort only to dash over to the bathroom and sit down for 10 minutes and then be really underwhelmed. <laughs> check to check. I, I make my bed. You guys make your bed? I make my bed. Mm -hmm. And I have no cavities. Still, <clears throat> I feel like even at my age, I envy my peers when they have milestones that I have yet to accomplish. For example, one of my youngest sisters turned 26 this year and we all went out and celebrated and had a great time and out of nowhere she just like burst into tears. And then she was like complaining like, you know, she's such a failure at 26. She had hoped to be married, have a house, a career, no debt. That's cute, right? <laughs> <laughs> and she went on and on about her shortcomings and cried even harder the more she talked. And she was like, you guys, I feel like such a failure. Can someone please help me feel better? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am so jealous that you're having a mental breakdown. I mean, you don't even deserve one of those. You know how long I've been waiting for one of those? <laughs> I mean, sure, I love, I love, you know, what I do for a living. I'm generally happy, but I gotta be honest. Every day on my commute, I say, any day now. Come on, breakdown. I know you're cooking up, baby. You know? And I wanna go with a bang once that day comes. You know, I wanna, I wanna be tied down to a dolly, hysterically laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say I'm not a dreamer, all right? <laughs> you know, but life's good. I mean, I try not to complain as I age gracefully. You know, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly satisfied. Although I gotta say, I'm not too exciting with things that come with aging, like incontinence. <laughs> yeah, I pee myself occasionally. <laughs> purpose. <laughs> you know, it's not the worst problem in the world to have, but I'm not ex exactly jumping for joy about it, mainly because I pee my pants. <laughs> and yes, life has crapped on me so much that I now know it's fiber intake. I get acne once in a while, and memory loss, and heartburn, and my cat gives me an attitude. And, and I don't know where I was going with this. <laughs> where the hell are my glasses? <laughs> but that concludes my outlook on my life. And while I'm up here, I want to just clear the air with everybody in here. There's been some speculation about a certain April Fool's prank that happened around here with someone switching off the name plates with fictional character names. Oh my god, what a genius. <laughs> so many fingers have been pointed to me, but um, first of all, I'm flattered that you all think that I'd be so smart to come up with this idea and execute it, but you got it wrong. Second of all, it was Brian Spikowski. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thank you.